Holy crap, a smartphone maker just made BMW and Mercedes look like they're building horse-drawn carriages. But seriously, what Xiaomi just did with their YU7 SUV is absolutely insane. Legacy Auto is about to have the worst year of their life and here are the numbers to prove it. Now look, I've been covering EVs for quite a while now and when a new company says they're going to revolutionise the industry, I kind of roll my eyes. Now Xiaomi already proved they're not messing around with the SU7 and with their new SUV this is about to get interesting. Okay guys let's talk numbers because this is going to get hilarious. The YU7 has 681 horsepower that's 681. You know what BMW's flagship iX M60 has? 610. And Mercedes? 536. Audi, a measly 496. So whoa, 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 hang on a minute. Remind me how long these companies have been making cars for. Over 100 years, right? And they're absolutely going to get demolished by a smartphone company that was making smartphones over a decade ago. <laughs> but wait, hold on a minute. It gets better. Do you know what's really funny? One Mercedes and BMW are still building these giant brick shaped SUVs that have the aerodynamics of a garden shed. Xiaomi actually paid attention what Tesla were doing. Now look, I know this sounds absolutely crazy, but a smartphone maker beating these legacy autos at their own game? This is, this is nuts. But this is exactly what I'm trying to tell you. The automotive industry is gonna change more in the next five years than it has done in the last 50 years. Legacy Auto is literally bringing a knife to a gunfight and they don't even know it yet. And if you wanna check out something even more insane, you wanna check out BYD's latest numbers in my next video. So let me know in the comments below, would you let a smartphone manufacturer manufacture your car? Or are you still holding on to that German manufacturing legacy. My name's Dez from the Electric Oracle and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.